Hey everyone, I just wanted to jump on here and show you a really quick video about how to access the Office OneDrive with the shared documents. So you do need to be on a desktop computer. You're going to go into your email right here on the desk. Okay, sign in and get to that main Outlook screen where you're looking at all of your emails here. You're going to scroll down on the left side in this area that says Groups. You should have the CB East Regional Agent Resource Group. You'll click on that. Click through to get to the group and you're going to go to the File section right here. Give that a few seconds to open up, and here is our shared group, okay? So you'll go down here to the documents. As you can see, I've put the closing schedules in here, the floor calendar. Here's some resources for you to use whenever you're talking to FISBOs and um, mailings and about me sheet example. This is crucial right here, this listing sales checklist. Thank you to Jody Petrarca. She created these. So a lot of you are asking, how do I know what I should have for my transaction? Print these out. There's one for a sale and one for a listing. Also, another big one, offers pr procedures and practices. This is a short little how-to, closing documents. What happens whenever you have a fall through? What to do with hand money? What to do with lock boxes? Very important. And then the primary one I want to make sure you all realize is closing schedules are right here on the shared drive. They are no longer in the binder up front. They're all separated by conference room. Okay, so if you need the large conference room, you're going to click on this here. And as you can see, some agents have already uh, gotten the drift to make sure that they come in here to schedule their closings. So say you have a closing for this Friday the 17th. At 5 p.m., you would type in your name, the co-broke, and the address. And the reason this came about was something that Randy called out. Um, whenever there's a floor person or obviously someone who needs to guide people for a closing, they need to know who they're talking to. Who's the Coldwell Banker agent? Who's the co-broke agent? What's the address of the property for when the buyers and sellers come into the office? So keeping it very organized and very professional. Everything automatically saves, as you can see up here at the top. Okay, so I want to keep this short and sweet. Please let me know if you have any questions whatsoever, um, but I really think this is going to be an excellent resource uh, once you guys can get the hang of it. All right, thanks so much.